Hello everybody and welcome to Van Transit's The Couch Racing Experience. Today we're racing a NASCAR Heat 2 for 33 hot seat laps and 3 stages at Michigan International Speedway. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Couch Racing Experience at Michigan International Speedway for NASCAR Heats 2 Camping World Truck Series. And now if you remember in uh, last week's race at Pocono, I finished 2nd place, which brought me from uh, 28th place overall to 27th place overall with 153 points. So I'm hoping to do a lot better that, than that here. So uh, we're going to see what happens from there and uh, let's get on with the race. Qualified in 11th place with a with a 40 second lap time. Now Thor's Sports, who I'm hot seat driving for today, is uh, requested that I place uh, anywhere between first through eighth pl place or positions, and uh, well, let's see what we can do with that. Again, I'm having the same problem. I'm drifting up to the wall when I make my turn. Even though this one wasn't a big drift, it was still a drifting. And you're probably gonna see that throughout the rest of this game. But I think I know what's going on. A couple things. One, I'm not paying attention to the turn. I'm paying attention to the vehicle in front of me. So I'm missing my turn. So I'm not turning when I should be turning. Two, I'm missing my braking point. I'm going into the turn too fast and I'm not braking when I should be braking. Normally I try to slow down instead of use the brakes. But maybe a quick stab on the brakes might be the cure-all.
right here I thought I was going to hit the wall, so I quickly turned to the left trying to uh, avoid the wall. Luckily I missed it. Right now I'm in second place in, uh, at the end of first stage. Um, I didn't choose to pit this time around. It was just seven laps, so I didn't choose to pit. In my personal opinion, it's just too fast. Not, you know, not enough laps, not enough time to pit. But uh, I went with the AI, and I did not pit this time around. I got a good start on the restart, but uh, I quickly ran too wide into the turn, and I lost four positions because of that. I'm well within uh, Thor Sports' uh, recommended eight positions or below, but uh, I don't want to get too much higher than that or lose too many positions than that. For the first time in NASCAR Heat 2, and for the first time in my first season, I'm finally in first place. But can I hold on to that? Right here, I'm not trying to uh, race, really. I'm just trying to maintain my speed so I can maintain my lead. I don't want to take a chance in losing that position. I'm not trying to break any track records or anything. I'm, I'm just trying to relax a little bit, settle down in my position. I have such a huge lead on him. I don't think I need to push it so hard.
There's no way I can be this fast. Um, the AI is just being real slow. My setting is on hard. There's no way I, I can be this fast. Right now, at the end of the stage one, I'm in first place. Now, I chose to pit at the same time the AI chose to pit. Um, I'm not well versed with pitting strategy yet. So, until I get that, I'm just going to pit when the AI pits. But until, uh, but eventually, I'm going to be adjusting my pit strategy to my race. And uh, until then, it's going to be with the AI until I can figure that strategy out. Now, if you look at my caution summary, the will flash this by there pretty quickly. Um, I have a minus 18. I must have taken too long to decide whether or not I'm going to pit. I guess it took too long because I was in first place at the end of stage 2, which was lap 16. And now on lap 19, I'm in 19th place. It could have been also the result of having to make repairs. I chose to make repairs and that could have slowed us down. I think the camera forgot to move right here. Now I'm pushing it hard. The first two stages were seven laps each. And this one is from uh, nine, lap 19 all the way to 33. I didn't mean to bump into the number 66 truck. Um, I was going too fast and I wasn't paying attention. Um, I thought maybe I could pass him, but then uh, at the last second I decided not to and I, and I bumped into him. Luckily he recovered and there was no caution flag. I don't know what it is with me and the number 45 truck. Every time I try to pass him, every single race so far he's difficult to pass and this time I tried to pass him and it threw me high up into the turn The number 98 truck blocked me, he, uh, and here I am trying to get around him. I lost a lot of speed because he blocked me. This was three cars wide, and there was some bump going on in there. Um, I just couldn't recover from that last bump, and, uh, and it set me off spinning. The 
stupid AI took over from here and I just couldn't figure out what it was doing. Now in the restart, they start me out in ninth place. I would think that in real life, they would have started me out in last place. And the camera forgets to move again. I was trying to squeeze in there and I couldn't quite make it. And so I ended up bumping them. And then I couldn't slow down fast enough uh, to keep from hitting them. Which, by my fault, caused another caution flag. I generally like to run clean races. But this is my first season and I will get it as time goes on. Hopefully this don't give me any rivals. But, eh. It probably will. The accident happened on lap 28, and it took two laps to clean the accident up, so we're starting on a 31, and uh, lap 31, and uh, the last couple laps, they're getting pretty intense. After the restart, I'm in 8th place. I need to hold on to that 8th place to get the 42,000 and the reconsideration from Thor Sport. Let's see what happens. And look at that. I ran way too high and I lose 10 places. Now I need to play catch up. Now I gotta drive hard. I gotta get this truck going. And I gotta get it going fast. I decide that I'm faster on the turns than they are. So I stay on the outside and I run the turns as fast as I can run them. Let's face it, if I stayed down there on the inside, there's nowhere to go. I would have had to push them, that would have taken forever. Trying to gain position on the bottom. Just just making a hole for it would have taken many more laps. The race would have been over by then. Okay, now I'm coming up in the leaders. I need that one more spot. I'm in ninth and I need to get that eighth. Effectively, I just gained nine positions by running on the outside because my truck is faster on the turns. And I couldn't get that A spot. I finished in ninth place with a speed rating of 104. All in all, I have to say this was probably the most exciting race that I had drove yet. Um, I, I completely enjoyed it. Even though I did make a few mistakes and they were my fault and I will take those as my fault. But uh, it, it still, for me, was a fun race. Now I finished in ninth place with a time of 17 minutes, 53 seconds, point. 462 and uh, I moved from 27th place in overall sta point standings to 22nd place with 200 points and one PO point. I'm not sure what that means but I'm thinking it means a stage point of some kind but somebody knows let me know. Um, until the next race I don't know where that's at. Happy racing.